Hi everyone, Cynthia with HR by Namteek here and I would like to welcome you back to a, another segment of Career Search Rx Answer the Interview Question. You know, periodically I will post um, tips and advice on how to answer specific interview questions. I plan to start back doing that and today is the day that um, I am starting to do that once again. And today's question is why do you want to work for this company? So this, let's look at how to answer this particular question effectively. Responding to this question, why do you want to work for this company, boils down to two important actions. Well, overall, it's just preparation. As we've been saying during our training modules and what have you, successful interviewing and a successful career search boils down to one thing and that is preparation. Well there are two key components to um, successful and effective preparation for responding to this particular interview question. So let's look at some details. Of course, <clears throat> excuse me, if you want to answer this question or respond to it effectively you need to research and you need to conduct detailed research. Um, as you can see from the graphic here, it recommends that you um, consult LinkedIn, you can search career websites, you can speak with recruiters, especially if a recruiter reaches out to you um, regarding an opportunity um, with a particular employer, then you can ask that um, recruiter to share what they know about that organization, their way of doing business, the culture of the organization, and what have you. And then, of course, first-hand research. And um, there's not a whole lot that can beat that because if you can reach out to um, current or former employees of this particular um, organization and find out from them, what makes you proud to work for this organization? Um, ask them what do they wish were different about the um, workplace. Also, um, ask them how do they feel um, that employees or that this particular employer treats its employees. And um, you know, some of it, yes, you have to discern and take a very um, you know, very close look and, and some things you'll have to take with a grain of salt, especially if you're speaking to um, an employee who was involuntarily separated or terminated from the organization or what have you. You have to fully realize that that person is probably not going to have as much, um, as many positive um, insights to offer you and not to say that their concerns are not valid. Um, but you just have to find that balance and the way that you find that is by doing research um, regarding the organization with objective non-biased um, sources as well and that's where LinkedIn, the career sites, the recruiters and what have you come in to play. So when you look at the company's mission, vision and values um, you know, just consider those and see if they make you feel that that would be a place that you would like to work. Also, their community involvement. What societal causes do they support and um, actively get involved in? Then consider public perception overall. If there's been a lot of um, negative press regarding the way that they do business, what have you as I said earlier you have to you need to consider those things if you want to make um, the best informed decision possible then um, employee engagement how well employees feel like they're being treated and some other ways that you can find out information about the company is one there first and foremost I would go to their company website um, that can give you a lot of insight about their quality of work and um, the work environment if their website is easy to use, if it's um, engaging or what have you. 
then um, those are positives for the organization. If they're not, then they're, they are things that you would need to consider because today a company's website is typically the first impression that a potential employee is um, going to access about them. So it should be evident that they put a lot of thought into developing their, their website. Then also Glassdoor can be um, a great source of company information because it also allows current and pr um, prior employees to post regarding, um, to take short surveys regarding their um, current or former employer. Um, and they answer questions regarding salary, work environment, and um, things like that. And they can also leave comments. So that is a great source as well. Then, of course, you know, we can Google anything. So you put the company's name in a Google search and see what comes up. Um, see if you get uh, what are the latest happenings in the news about the organization. Um, and see if they are positive or negative type reports. And then of course indeed.com you can put the name of the organization in um, the search box on the indeed.com website and um, you can get a lot of information that way as well. Then of course second um, you want to relate to the organization. If this organization, if the um, research that you conduct regarding this employer um, makes you feel like, hey, you know, this is the type of um, organization that I would like to be a part of, then you need to make sure and identify areas of relatability between, um, it's not about your degrees and credentials um, with this question, it's about how well will you be able to assimilate um, to what the organization finds important and um, how your core values relate to their mission, vision, and values. And then also, if you're already um, involved in volunteerism and community involvement, identify whether there are any um, potential conflicts of interest between your community involvement and volunteerism and the organization's um, community involvement. Like for instance, if you feel very strongly about, um, let's say, um, a woman's right to decide if they want to um, end a pregnancy or not, and the organization um, feels very strongly um, and supports right to life um, issues, then you really probably need to think about whether you would be a good fit for that organization because um, it would only be a matter of time before you would likely become frustrated, especially if this company is, say, um, um, very involved in those types of causes and if your core vi um, vision, your core values don't match that, then it could potentially um, cause unnecessary stress that you could avoid by not even going to work for them. Um, and then also think about your level of integrity that you hold yourself to. Make sure that the organization holds itself to a similar similar um, level of integrity. And you can see that by um, reading articles about their compliance to any laws rules, regulations that govern their industry. And um, from that, you can make very informed decisions. So um, if you have any questions or comments about the tips that I've offered in this um, quick segment of answer the interview question, please feel free to contact me by visiting my blog site at namteek dot com is there at the bottom of the screen n n a m t i q u e dot com so until next time successful career searching to you bye bye